Peace. We are back and we are here today with a quick unboxing of the Bandai Namco uh, Ronin Mandalorian Beskar Armor and Grogu. Uh, it's one of their movie realization lines. You can see it's done in samurai style. We picked this up at um, Star Wars Celebration, actually, and we showed you in our unboxing video. In fact, I'm going to link that up here. Uh, just all the cool swag that we got there. This is one of the items we picked up. It is our first movie realization statue. Uh, we've never picked up one before. Uh, obviously, the power of, of Grogu drew us in. Um, and I've always been interested in picking one of these things up. So we thought we'd unbox it and show you what's in the box. So first of all, here is the front of the box. And the sides, I'll show you the side here. And here's the back of the box, which shows you everything that's inside. You can see there's a Mandalorian, a Grogu, a couple of uh, replacement weapons and stuff like that. So let's go ahead. I have a, a knife here and open this thing up. All right, opening it up. It's very light, I will say that. Um, it's designed by Tamashi Nations in Japan inside the box a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Also comes with uh, this sheet, which is in Japanese, so I can't read it. Um, as well as uh, on the other side though, it shows a listing of everything that's included in the box. It looks like we have uh, replacement hands, uh, a katana, gun, rifle, blade, it looks like he comes with a holster and a, a little a little carriage for Grogu. Look at that. Okay, so it's probably very shiny, reflective, but this is what came inside the box. Right, so this plastic just peels off right here. All right, so before we get into the Mandalorian, I'm actually just going to go ahead and pull out this little baby Grogu. Look at that. And look at his hair. I'll show you the back. Look at his hair. Awesome. There he is. Peeps. He's, I don't know, I guess about an inch tall, give or take. And here is his little pod. You can see it's got like the blankets inside of it. And, uh, it, this part doesn't move or anything like that, but it looks very much um, like stylized, but very much like the pod that he has in the show. So I'm going to put him in here. His his little arms do move. I wonder if that's, or his feet move too, just slightly. I wonder if that's just for placement in the, uh, in this thing. So I'm putting him in his little pod. Here we go. Baby Grogu in his pod. And, um... Here is the kind of wheelbarrow slash baby carriage that the pod can go in. You can see it's kind of indented on the sides here so that the pod should just pop in there so that he can get pushed around. The wheels are, do move. I'm going to put them over here so you can see them. All right, so here is the Mandalorian. Um, lots of individual parts here. Let me be careful. See, in fact, one just fell out. Uh, so there's the more just fell out. So Mandalorian rifle, the blade looks like the jetpack here. Um, some of the stuff that fell out, uh, I'm gonna pick off off the ground, but it looks like the pistol fell out. But let's go ahead and take him out first. There's some plastic here, I guess, to help from uh, prevent some rubbing or you know paint issues that can happen in travel. Now this. You know, it, it's a statue. I don't know. It's really more like an action figure. It is poseable. So, you know, it's got articulation here on the joints. You can see his ankle moves as well as his knee. Interesting. I really thought this was more of a statue, but it's, it's almost like just a high-end action figure. Uh, not in a bad way. I, I, I appreciate that I can pose him a little bit differently than perhaps the, the pose that he comes in. Um, but so here is a better look at the Mandalorian. He's got like the wrist pistols here. Just 
lots of detail on that. So first thing first, um, let's go ahead and pop out the jetpack. So anyone who's seen The Mandalorian knows the jetpack was a pretty big deal when it came out. So the little pin here goes into his back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that in here. So there is the Mandalorian with his jetpack on. Lots of great detail in the paint job on it. Next up, uh, here is the Katana and the scabbard for it to go in. So it just kind of goes in like that. And it looks like it clips somewhere on him. Correction. So this little bit right here, it's, a, it's really hard to see, but you can see there's like a little leather looking holster thing. Um, there's a little hole on the side of the Mandalorian's belt. And so what you can do, I think, is clip that around the scabbard and put the blade on his hip. All right, let's try that again. Let's try that again. I think I got it this time. All right, there we go. Okay. So there we go. So I've connected the katana to him. Actually, it's probably the other way around. So let me let me redo that. Um, this so that he can get to his blade. There we go. That seems better. Okay. So I took the jetpack off um, because the jetpack actually you can't have the jetpack and the rifle. They both connect to the same place on his back. You can see there's a, a knob there to connect to his back. So here is where, right in his back, is where that could connect, or again, or the jetpack goes in the same spot. We've also got his rifle here. Let's see if I can get a, a better view there. So here is his rifle. Not very detailed on that side because I think that's the side that goes in but here is a better look at it. There we go. And that goes in his holster. Now, of course, you could put it in his hand, but all right, so I've put that in his holster right there. So again, what the hands he comes with are interchangeable. Now, by default, you can see he's got these closed hands. Nothing can, there is no hole in them for anything to, to go into but he does have uh, two sets of interchangeable hands. These, this fist looking one has a hole in it so that he can hold perhaps the katana. Um, he's got two of those. And then he also has this hand here that's kind of got the trigger finger on it for maybe holding a pistol. So let's, let's give those a shot. I'm gonna pop out this hand on the left and give him a katana holding hand. And I'm going to pop out this hand on the right, yeah, his right, and put in this uh, pistol holding hand. The katana doesn't stay on very well. Um, at least I'm trying to get it to, to kind of stay in that little hole thing, but it doesn't really seem to be doing well. All right, so I've got his katana here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in this hand here, put that in this hand here, maybe. Things keep popping off. Ah, okay. Let's, we're, we're gonna make this happen, people. Something just popped off. The hammer on the gun um, is like removable and it moves. I know you can't see it from there, but like this little piece right here, you can see the hammer goes up, hammer goes down. Interesting. All right, so his hand fell off, so I gotta pop it back on. All right, so let's get him with his rifle on his back. I think I prefer the rifle to the uh, to the jetpack. And here is the Mandalorian with his katana on the left, his pistol on the right, and his Grogu by his side. Here is a close-up look at it put all together. 
Grogu over here in his carriage or stroller. And here is Ronan Mandalorian. Tons of great detail here. Oh, look. All right, folks, thank you all for watching this video. Hope you liked this quick unboxing video of the Bandai Namco movie realization Tamashi Nations Mandalorian with Beskar armor, Ronan Mandalorian with Beskar armor and Grogu. If you did like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up down below. Really helps us out. Let's us know what type of videos you're interested in seeing. Um, also hit the little subscribe and the notification bell. Uh, it'll notify you next time we put up another video. Tons of videos coming up down the pike. So hopefully you are on board to watch all of those as well. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.